Um, let's see. Our goal here is to integrate and find the center of mass of a hoop. You thought it was what? You said it was a really thin donut. Uh, okay, it's a really thin donut. It's this, all right? It's that. So, um, to do this, we are going to use the formula uh, Rcom. And um, what's the first thing that we need to do? Origin. Uh, we've got to choose an origin. Okay. Now, if you think about this, if we chose our origin to be here, and we were going to integrate, we're going to add up all those little masses, all these little masses, we would then have to add them up, and this, this not only would the position be changing, but the length of this uh, radius arm would be changing. So this would be bad, right? Um, so what's the one place where we can get center. at least keep that variable the same, the rays? And that would be at the center. So we're going to make 0, 0 to be our, um, our origin. Okay? This actually is a very, uh, I just don't want you to get depressed because this derivation has a sort of depressing ending. But it's a, it's a, it's an easier one. We'll get to a, a, a better one later. Well, yeah, because it would just be negative. It would just like cancel out. Don't spoil the depression. <laughs> the journey. Okay. So um, let's see. We've got this. We've got this little chunk right here. And um, what's the mass of that little chunk? DM. It's dm. It's little m. Okay. And what is the length of that section? What, what's the section of a curve? An arc. An arc, okay? And what's the length of an arc? S. S, okay? And what's a little tiny bit of an arc? DS. Yeah. DS. So that right there is DS. All right, good. Now, we want to integrate. We want to go out to this point and then find out, we're going to add up all the little masses for these different positions. So we've got to describe that position. Well, how do we get to that? How do we tell this radius where it is to be? Well, we can set this up with theta and then use theta to sort of give us an x and a y coordinate. So what's this side of the triangle? Okay, it's going to be uh, x equals r cosine theta, and then we've got y, which is r uh, sine theta. Okay, so really, when we write this r com, we're doing this for uh, x i hat plus y j hat df, and we we are giving this. Um, a location. And what's that location? Well, it is um, r cosine theta i hat plus r cosine, whoops, no it's not, sine theta j hat. And uh, all of that uh, dm. What's changing? What's changing in here? Theta. Theta. theta is changing. What's R doing? It's a constant. It's a constant. Can you see why this would have been bad if we had picked this as the origin? What else would have been changing? R. R. And then we would have had a variable and a variable, and we would have had to integrate them. But now, what can we do with R? We can take it out because it's a constant. Okay. Um, so we have theta is changing. What's our problem here? We've got dm. Should be d theta. We need this to become a d theta. So we have to do some trickery to get rid of that. Okay. So 
We're going to do this as a little side step here. This is all going to be in the cloud. Um, what's the density of, of this hoop? What's the density of the hoop? It's the mass of the entire hoop divided by the arc length of the entire hoop. So it's going to be M over S. And what symbol do we use to represent density? Lambda. Lambda. Okay. And if we took a little chunk of this, a little tiny chunk, for a little tiny arc length, that density would be the same. So that's also equal to what? DM. DM over DS. All right, good. But what, what do we need in here that we still don't have? Theta. We, have need, we need D theta. OK. Um, so to do that, we're going to use a definition. What is the length of an arc? You guys should have learned this at some point. What's the length of an arc? It's r theta. You guys remember this? Yeah. Okay. So s is equal to r theta. We need to get what though? Not theta. D theta. We need d theta. Okay. So let's see. D theta. So why don't we go here? What's the length of a little piece? What's the length of d s? What's that? D r theta. Or D theta. R D theta. You just got to put the D next to the theta, not the R. So that's going to be D S is equal to R D theta. That's that's the um, that would be D theta in there for that little tiny thing. So now what can we do with that? Plug in for DS. Yeah, we can plug that in for D S. So now we have uh, lambda equals um, D M over R d theta. And what's dm then? Lambda. Yeah, good. Lambda r d theta. And what are we going to do with that? Over S. We're going to put that in for dm. Okay. So let's see. All of this is a side step. So I'm going to put that inside a cloud. And let's rewrite this step. So this becomes rcom equals 1 over m. Can you pull out the r? Uh, yes. <laughs> um, pull out the r. And then we've got, uh, let's see, the integral of, uh, then we've got cosine theta i hat plus sine theta j hat. And we're going to multiply that by, uh, now for dm, that's going to be lambda r d theta. Where'd the derivation go? What? OK, we're moving on. <laughs> um, all right, so this was the last step that we had. Um, what are we integrating from? From what to what? 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi. So we're, we're um, integrating from here and we're going to integrate all the way around the circle so one full circle is 2 pi so let's put in 0 to 2 pi and what's constant stuff lambda, lambda. lambda density is constant that's not changing what about r r is constant so let's bring that stuff out so that's going to become r com integral uh let's see lambda what r squared. good r squared over uh m, m. And then I can break this up, right? If, that, if I have a plus sign there, I can then distribute and say, I'm going to take the integral of cosine theta separately from sine theta. So that's going to become the integral cosine theta i hat, 0 to 2 pi, plus the integral 0 to 2 pi sine theta j hat, and uh, ah, yeah. d theta d theta. Okay, tell us what we're integrating on. Okay. All right, now we can do our integral. What is the integral of cosine theta? Sine. Sine. Sine theta. What if you didn't know that? How could you even know that? You could ask Mr. Agro, yes. You could ask Mr. Hodges. You could also just look on your reference table. Okay. What? 
On the calculus page, it tells you integral of sine x dx, wait, what was cosine? Integral of cosine x dx is sine x. So you don't actually have to think for that step. So let's do that. That's going to be r com equals lambda r squared over m. You know what? I'm not going to put that in, m in just yet. Okay. And then what's the integral of cosine theta and sine theta? So that's going to be uh, sine theta i hat from 0 to 2 pi. And what's the integral of sine theta? Negative. negative. Look it up. It's negative cosine theta. So that becomes minus uh, cosine theta from j hat uh, from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, the reason I'm not going to put uh, the mass in right there is because we can actually get the mass of this thing, right? Remember that, um, that lambda is equal to m over s, right? I think this was the, maybe the mistake that I made yesterday, okay? So the total mass is equal to lambda s, that's total mass. Right, and what? How much of a? How much do we have? What's the arc of the total thing? It's well, it's two pi. What? What? What is that distance? It's three sixty. Okay, and so what do you call this in a circle? Circumference. circumference. And what's the length of the circumference? It's not two pi. Two pi r. Two pi r. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's going to be m equals lambda 2 pi r. So I can take that. Let me see if I can sneak through there. Okay. And put that in right there. Okay. So then that's going to be lambda 2 pi r. Okay. And that's kind of nice. Squared sine's gone, r is gone, lambda's gone, la uh, lambda's gone. So we're getting we're getting close here. And now we can actually um, we can actually do this. I'm going to come over here. So we've got r com. I've got my vector sign. That's um, r over two pi. And now we have to do this. So that's going to be sine of two pi minus sine of zero. minus cosine, that's all I have, minus cosine 2 pi minus cosine 0. I think we're still doing okay. That's all j hat. That's still all i hat. Okay, what is sine of 2 pi? Zero. It is 0. What's sine of 0? Zero. zero. So that's zero minus zero. So that's gone. And then here we've got cosine of two pi. One. That's one. And what's cosine of zero? One. One. So we have r over two pi. I told you it was depressing. Um, minus one minus one. Right? Yes. And that ends up becoming what? Oh, is that negative zero? What's one minus one? Zero. zero. So that becomes zero. zero. Wow. Okay. Um, but does it make sense? Yeah. Does it make sense? Look, where is the center of mass of a hoop? It's in the center. Where is zero, zero? It's in the center. 